Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery from Sundigi. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what they gave us. Okay, when you first open the box, uh, okay, I noticed that uh, the styrofoam on the top has these little holes in it to kind of keep the uh, holes for the terminal covers, which I think that's kind of kind of ridiculous, I guess, I don't know. Okay, piece of styrofoam, and it is uh, very nicely packaged. I like that, there's styrofoam all around, so that's very nice. And it comes with the uh, two M8 bolts and bolt covers. Uh, it comes with a, uh, looks like a user's manual and some sort of brochure. And then here is the battery. And now I don't know if it's because I'm super strong or if there's something going on here because this battery for 100 amp hours, it feels pretty light. Um, the case is actually, the case looks smaller than a regular 12 volt battery. Yeah, the case is actually, uh, it's probably about, <laughs> it looks like it's about an inch thinner, uh, like in depth, it's about an inch thinner and lengthwise, I mean lengthwise it might be like a half an inch smaller. So it's actually a smaller, a smaller form factor. So that's interesting. All right. I like the fact that this thing has rounded edges. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't have any sharp corners. So that's kind of nice. Um, it has this carrying strap. Uh, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like there's any way to take it off besides cutting it. Um, it does come with post covers, so that's good. Uh, let's see on the front, it does say uh, Sundigi uh, LiPo 4 battery, 12.800 amp hour. Gives you uh, a bunch of symbols for what it can be used for and a bunch of symbols of what to do and what not to do. The back tells you uh, all the information about it. So it's 12.8 uh, volt, 100 amp hour. Watt capacity is 1280. The charge voltage is 14.6 volts, give or take 0.2 volts. It does say that the standard charge current is uh, right around uh, 20 amps, which is typical for a 100 amp battery. And the max charge, again, it says that it's 100 amps. Uh, for the continuous and peak discharge, we have 100 amp continuous and 200 amp peak for 10 seconds. Uh, operating temperatures are uh, 0 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius for charging and negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius for discharging. All right, I'm going to open up the manual to find out the exa exact dimensions and the weight. Okay, the dimensions, it is 13 inches long. Uh, it is 8.5 inches tall and it is 6.77 inches in depth. It is also IP65 rated, so it's completely waterproof. And just like all lithium iron phosphate batteries, it has a huge charge cycle count, which is, uh, this one's estimate to be about 4,000 charge cycles before you get a uh, total depth, depth of discharge of 80%. So you get 4,000 before you get down to only having 80% left in the battery capacity. So that, I mean, you could, charge this up all the way and discharge it all the way every day, 4,000 times. So, I mean, if you did that once a day, you're looking over 10 years. Okay, and nowhere in the user manual does it say the weight of this battery, but I do know that packaging from FedEx said that it came in at 24.4 pounds. And usually uh, 24 pound lithium iron phosphate batteries come in at a 26 pound uh, shipping weight. So I'm gonna guess that this guy is right around 22 pounds. When you first get your battery, the, the first thing that you should do is check to make sure that there is voltage at the terminals and that voltage should be right around 13.1 uh, to 13.2 volts. So let's go ahead and check that now. All right, and our voltage is 13.18, so that's perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna charge this thing up to 100%. And after that, we're gonna do a discharge test to make sure that we're getting the 100 amp hours uh, that we're expecting from this battery. 
Okay, so the capacity test for the Sunday G 100 amp hour battery just got done. So let's check the results. All right, and we have 105.11 amp hours out of this 100 amp hour battery. That equals out to 1298.52 watt hours. And this test took 10 hours and 30 minutes. All right, so those results are pretty good for a 100 amp hour battery. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and charge this thing back up to 100% and perform some uh, max amperage discharge tests. All right, so we got the Sundagi battery charged back up. And so we're gonna do a max amperage withdrawal test. First, we're gonna make sure that it can handle 100 amps continuous for at least five minutes. And then we're gonna start stepping up the amperage to see if it'll turn off. So let's go ahead and start the 100 amps. All right, our 100 amps is being based on this griddle right here, which is a 1200 watt griddle. We have our timer set, and it is actually pulling 100 and almost 108 amps right now. So we're gonna let this run for five minutes, and, uh, and I'll let you know the results. Okay, so we reached the five minute mark on our 106 amp power test, and it, uh, it was able to keep that going for five minutes. So let's go ahead and step it up and see if it shuts off. Okay, well, we are uh, running it at 107 amps still. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start this timer again because it says that it will run 200 amps for 10 seconds. So let's just go ahead and start this up at 1300 watts and that's gonna give us our over 200 amps right there. There we go, it's 15 seconds. We got 205 amps. Two hundred twelve. Uh, it's been thirty-five seconds now. It's been twenty seconds. We're running two hundred amps. I'm gonna let it go for a minute, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn those two heaters on. Try to get it as high as I can go. See what happens. It's definitely not doing what it's supposed to do, though. Okay, that's a minute. We're still running 214 amps. Let's go ahead and turn these heaters on. Okay, two heaters are on. Amperage is now 275. <clears throat> it's starting, the inverter's starting to beep because we have a low voltage warning. Our amperage is now 290. And this battery's not shutting off. There is no high amperage protection on this battery. It, it, it will go and go and go, it looks like. Yeah, 283 amps right now. We have everything cooking. Inverter's beeping because we only got 10.5 volts at the highest. So, yeah, this is, this is unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna shut it down before the battery blows up. Okay, so what are my thoughts of the Sundigi 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery? Well, uh, you know, the capacity was good and it can power 100 amps for five minutes with no problem, but uh, it does not have over amperage protection. I mean, I pushed it up to 280 amps. You know, it did it for well over a minute uh, maybe even a minute and a half and it says that it's only supposed to do 200 amps for 10 seconds Before it shuts down. I guess that's what I'm assuming um, Some people might think oh, that's great. You know, you can you can really push this battery to its limit the thing is the wiring that's inside the battery It's probably not it's probably not big enough It's not it's not made to be able to handle 280 amps for longer than 10 seconds. So if you're running this thing and you need to run it for 250 amps for a few minutes, the wires inside will probably melt and you'll ruin your battery or worse, it'll catch on fire. So unfortunately, I cannot recommend this battery uh, because it does, not, it does not satisfy all the safety features that it says that it will. So thank you so much for watching this video and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.